Did you know that on top of their mobile app, Canva also has a desktop app that you can use on your laptop or on your desktop computer? Well, in this video, I am going to download, install and review the Canva desktop app for you so that you can decide whether or not you need it. Let's go. What is up everyone, Ronnie here, super happy to be back with you today here on the channel. Thank you for watching, first of all. Today we are going to talk about the Canva desktop app. In this tutorial, I'm going to first download the app, install it, show you around, like give you a quick tour, and then I'm going to show you the major difference between uh, using Canva on the app, the desktop app, and the browser experience. After that, I want to run a speed test using Canva video. I want to see how using Canva via the desktop app compares to the, the experience on browser when it comes to using video. So we will compare the speed of uploading a video into Canva, both via the app and via the browser and then downloading a video from both the app and the browser. So this would be very interesting to see which one of the two has higher performances, higher speeds when working with video. And then at the end of the tutorial, we will wrap up by talking about what features would really make this Canva desktop app awesome and like a must to have on your computer. All right, so now that you know what's coming up, let's start by downloading this bad boy. Downloading the app is really easy. Just start from your regular Canva homepage, like this one right here, and jump to the Features button right here on top of your screen. When you hover over this button right here, you should see a menu like this one. And at the far right of this menu, you should see this last column right here that says Download. And so from here, you can download the app for Mac and for Windows. And these two right here are the mobile version of the app. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm using a Mac computer, I'm gonna click on Canva for Mac. It will lead me to this page right here, Canva for Mac, your favorite design tool available as a desktop app for Mac with Intel and Apple chips. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this button. And so from here, users will have to let Canva know if they are using an older MacBook with an Intel chip or a newer MacBook with the new M1 chip from Apple. So mine uh, is one of the newer MacBooks. So I'm gonna click on this button right here. So what's gonna happen is that the download is gonna start. You see here at the bottom of my screen, only gonna take a couple of seconds. And then once it's done, can click here. And then I will have this traditional uh, window right here that uh, Mac users know very well. So from here, I'm just gonna take it and drop it in my applications folder. And there we go, it is done. I can now use Canva on my Mac computer. So in order to find it, I'm gonna to go to my launch pad and to my second page right here. And my Canva app is now right here, ready to go. So let's open this bad boy up. Okay, the first time you use it, you'd have this message right here. So just give Canva the necessary permission to access your computer. So there we go. This is the Canva homepage from the desktop app. The install process literally took me about a minute and a half. So it was very quick. And now let's jump into the second step of this tutorial, which is to give you guys a quick tour of this Canva desktop app. Okay, so we can see that the app is not very different from the browser version. And I'm going to alternate between the browser version, which is this one right here, and the app version, which is this one, because I want to show you the little subtleties, the little differences between each of the two interfaces and user experiences, okay? So the, this is the app, the desktop app, and if I scroll down the, the homepage right here, I see all of my designs are already here. Okay, so this is good news because obviously you want your design to be synchronized and to be there at the same exact place where you left them when you use the browser version of Canva. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out to 100% so I have the same resolution on both screens. Okay, so this is my Canva app and this one is my Canva uh, browser experience. Okay, so back to the app. I want to see if there is any difference uh, between this version and the browser version. So the one thing I see is a little home button right here. If I click on it, nothing happens because this is already the home page. But then next to it, there is a plus button that I don't have in my browser version. So let's click on that. And from here, I can see that I can start a document 
and I have a list of all the different duct types right here. It's kind of like a shortcut. I don't have to go through the buttons right here on the home page or even scroll down to find a document. I can immediately start a new design with this plus button right here. So let's start, for example, a video project. I'm going to click on video and I can see Canva opens a tab right here where I can work on a video project. So this is completely what we would expect. But what I can see here is that there is another plus tab. So I can click here again and maybe create a Facebook post. And now I create a second Canva design right here, this Facebook post right next to my video project. You see, let's populate this a little bit. So I'm going to add this, for example, in my video project, and I'm going to add a page to my uh, Facebook project. So what I want to show you is that you can navigate between these different tabs right here from the Canva desktop app. And we don't have that on the browser version. If I open a document right here, let's say I open the same thing. So let's open a video project. You see, I don't have the possibility to open a new tab. If I want to do so, I will have to go back to my browser, create a new tab, go back to Canva and from there create a new document. So it's not as easy. I would say there is a couple of additional steps to creating multiple tabs from the browser version. Now back to the app. So that's one of the main differences. Another difference, let me show you, for example, I'm going to close the video tab. I'm going to create a new tab right here, which is a logo design. OK, so let's click on logo. Now I have my logo uh, project right here. I'm going to use this logo right here. So I do have my logo on this tab right here, the first tab, and I also have my Facebook post on the second tab. Now, what the desktop app actually allows you to do with these two different tabs right here, if you right click on one of the tabs, you will see this message right here, move tab to a new window. So this is going to be very useful. So I'm going to click on that. So now what's happening is that I have this new window created right here that I can resize to any size I want and very easily using the split screen functionality of my operating system here Mac OS I can divide this and create a split screen situation so I'm going to do that with this one on this side and uh, this is my browser but I want the second window of my desktop app OK, so I'm going to click on this one right here. And now I do have this split screen situation where I can uh, pull more or less on one or the other side and I can also collapse these panels. So giving me a full workspace to work with here. So what I want to show you here is in which kind of situation this could be a useful setup to work like this. Well, let's say you are working on a presentation and you might have your brand style guide on this side and your presentation on this side. And so you can easily copy and paste different elements from one window to the next one. But you can still see both windows right in front of you, which is very practical. So let's say I want to copy my logo right here in my Facebook post and paste it here. Very easy. I can select everything, Command C or Control C, and then come to the other side and Control or Command V. So my logo will be pasted, I can move it, and I can resize very easily. And there we go. I can put that in the safe zone and slightly reorganize my uh, text boxes right here so that I have a nice hierarchy and I quickly created or added my branding on this logo because I have this split screen situation and because I can actually separate different tabs from my desktop app. If you want that tab to come back to the main tab, you can move tab back to the main window. And there you go. Now you have your uh, two tabs right there reunited, if I can say so. What I just showed you is, as of today, the main and almost only difference between the desktop app and the browser experience, this ability to have multiple tabs and to split them into different windows. That's the main thing, really, that will change between browser and app. OK, let's test the performance of both the Canva desktop app and how it compares to the browser experience. So the way we are going to test this on one side, we will have the Canva desktop app and on the other side, the Canva browser experience. And we are, of course, going to use the same file. The first part of the test is the upload speed test. So we are going to upload this promo video, the new promo video of the Canva master course that we recently updated. It is a 124 
gigabyte. So let's import that into both the Canva desktop app and the browser experience to see which one uploads faster. All right, so we can see that the file actually uploaded two seconds faster via the browser with one minute and 10 seconds versus one minute and 12 seconds on the Canva desktop app. So not so much of a big deal here. I think there's not much of a difference in terms of performances, but still the browser a little bit faster than the actual desktop app, which is surprising to me because I thought, okay, I'm using the power of my computer to power this app, so it should probably be faster. It was not the case. Now, second part of this test, I want to test the download speed. So let's download this video. Okay, so I made it full screen on both my Canva app and my browser tab right here. And I want to see when I download this video in the MP4 format, which one downloads faster. So let's go ahead and start the test. And there we go. Here again, the performance was slightly better on the browser experience, which again surprises me. I would have thought the other way around. But here, the difference was actually a little bit more important with some quite better performance via the browser. So we downloaded in five minutes and 27 seconds via my browser and almost six minutes, 5.59 via the Canva app. So here again, I am a little bit disappointed because the Canva app is not tapping into the power of my brand new MacBook Pro right here to speed up the performance. So this wraps up the test. There is actually no real performance gain to the contrary to using the Canva app on your computer. All right, guys, I have one more test I want to run with this Canva desktop app, and that is to see if I can work with the app when I'm not connected to the internet, when I'm offline, okay? Because one of the perks of downloading such an app to my computer would be that I am able to actually work on it even if I'm not connected, if I'm in the train, if I'm in the plane, whatever, working on my presentation. So can I work on the Canva desktop app when I'm not connecting to the internet? So for running that test, very easy. I'm gonna kill my internet. So I'm gonna go right here to my Wi-Fi setting and just uh, turn my Wi-Fi off, okay? So turning it off, there you go. I'm not connecting to the internet anymore. I'm just going to try to open this uh, Canva doc right here. Course thumbnail, let's click on it, no internet. So there is no internet here. That was actually my browser. So now let's go to the Canva app and see if I can work on this document, I still haven't turned back the internet. I click here, but no, you are currently offline. We are having trouble connecting to the internet. Please check out your internet connection and try again. So here again, I cannot work with the Canva desktop app if I am online. And that is at the moment, June 2022. Maybe, hopefully, Canva figure this out and lets us work offline as well. But right now it's not. So let's turn back the internet right here in this house to actually wrap up the tutorial. Okay, the internet is back and my document finally opened. All right, so let's wrap this up, guys. We've seen different things here about the Canva desktop app. To give you my honest opinion, I believe that as of today, June 2022, there's not much of a difference between the two versions of Canva. It is nice to have it on your computer. It is nice to have these different tabs open, but I want to share with you three features that if were included into the Canva desktop app would make it a great app a must-have app on your computer. Right now, you could probably live without it, but if Canva comes up with these three things, you will absolutely need it. The first thing is the ability to work offline, okay? Canva needs to figure out how to let users work offline on their design, still have access to everything they have created while they were connected to the internet, and be able to at least like polish their presentation, their document, finish editing their videos, be able to search the library 
and find some of the things there. I can see how much of a challenge it is though because the Canva elements library, video library is huge. So how will Canva give us access to these media if we're not connected to the internet. But I do believe to make the app great, we need an offline mode. So that's the first thing. The second thing that would make the Canva desktop app great would be to give us a stronger, faster, more robust way to work with video when using the app. Okay, because after running the speed test, we've seen that there's no bump in performance while using the app. What would be great is that when using Canva on your computer, Canva actually taps into your processor, your RAM, your everything. I don't know, I'm not an engineer. You guys figure it out but we will benefit from that boost in performance while using the app, especially for video, because using video in the Canva browser, it can be a little bit clunky sometimes because files are heavy and it takes time to actually upload and download your files and work with them correctly on the timeline. So that would be my second wish that we have a more robust Canva app in terms of video performance. And then the third thing I would absolutely love to see is the ability to open different tabs right here, but this this time with different Canva users connected at the same time. So right now I can only use one user. So here is Team Rondi. You see Team Rondi right here. I can change to another team. I can go to Canva Expert or I can go to my, uh, let's say Ronnie's team right here but I cannot open a second tab and have a different user. And this is kind of annoying because sometimes I would love to copy something, some files from one team that I have to another one, but I cannot do that because I cannot open different tabs with different teams that I'm using within my same Canva account. So these would be my three things to make the app much better. And this wraps up the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this detailed tour of the Canva desktop app. You decide if you want to install it to your computer, works for Windows or for iOS users. I've showed you at the beginning where to find it. And yeah, that's my two cents on it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Make sure to watch these other tutorials right here. I'm gonna leave you a playlist about editing videos with Canva, which is pretty good. And that's what I have for you guys this week. Thank you for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave us a like, and I will see you in the next video.